The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 827. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have our final Asian Women Who Boss Up co-author is going to share her wisdom and tips and a little bit about her story. And I'm really excited to have her here and share her share her wisdom with us. And she is also a holistic, spiritual, and mindful leadership coach. And I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Vibha Sharma. Vibha, how are you, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Yeah, sure. Hi, Sheena. Thank you for inviting me to your show. Excited to be here. My name is Vibha Sharma. I'm the founder, CEO, number one international best-selling author, mindful leadership and spiritual coach at CosmicMaze.com. I coach, consult, and train high-achieving corporate and individual clients and help them improve their mental health, rise about the stress, conflicts, self-doubt, and limitation, and most importantly, improve their own relationship with themselves by changing the way they function on a deeper level. Through a collaborative process, I help them realize that when they change from the inside, everything changes from the outside because your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. With consistent inner work, I help my clients improve their performance, wellness, relationships, parenting, conflict resolutions, and teams. I believe that most important purpose in this real sacred life is your spiritual evolution. And this is what holistic spiritual life coaching is all about. I guide my client into their holistic journey of self-discovery and conscious living. And here I would like to mention this is a very powerful quote by Neville Goddard. He says, like, stop trying to change the world since it is only the mirror. Man's attempt to change the world by force is as fruitless as breaking a mirror in the hope of changing his face. Leave the mirror and change your face. Leave the world alone and change your conception of yourself. Thanks for sharing that, Vibha. And Vibha, what's your cultural background? I'm South Asian Indian and from New Delhi, India, from North India. Thanks for sharing that. And how does the model minority myth hurt Asian women as a whole? Actually, Asian Americans are a diverse racial group. It consists of many ethnic subgroups from different Asian countries, right? So model minority is a term used to describe Asian Americans as hardworking, successful, law-abiding ethnic minority that has overcome hardships and challenges. Educational achievement is a major contributing factor to Asian Americans being viewed as model minority. And just yesterday, I was talking to one of my clients and she shared that being South Asian Indian, everybody thinks that you're super smart and expect more from you. And it puts more pressure to perform better, right? And it's hard sometimes. But apart from this, I always say that I be, and I believe no matter what your situation we are in, we don't have to identify with our set perceptions or opinions and need only be focused on our own visions and goals to change or shift any situation and always try to find opportunity and challenges. Thanks for sharing that. That's so true, right? You know, we, we grow up in a, in a place where we're constantly pressured to like get the best grades, go to the best colleges, have the best job or or have the best house, and it really can take a toll on us. And then our mental health gets affected by it as well. So I'm really glad you mentioned that. And why is creating a stronger representation of Asian women so important for you? I believe when you consistently work hard towards your dreams, desires, goals, and visions, and you do your best and to be the best version of yourself, you inspire your family, friends, clients, and many other people, and not only the women in your ethnicity. It just happens and you don't really need to think about it. I would say being my best and being intentional about living a meaningful, purposeful life is more important to me. And in the process, I inspire and represent other women from all walks of life without even thinking about it. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I love that you mentioned that because a lot of people, like they ask me this question, like, if you're so 
passionate about helping Asian women, don't you limit yourself? And I always tell them no, right? Just because I really want to help Asian women, it actually goes beyond that because other cultures also go through their own model minority myths and go through their own issues. And, you know, we all go through similar issues so they can still relate to what we go through. And I mean, if you look at K-pop groups like BTS and Blackpink, I mean, you know, they sing in Korean, but yet they're a worldwide sensation. So I really love that you mentioned that. And how does it feel being that representation for so many Asian women in the world? It is good coming from India, settling in the U.S., and to be able to create positive difference in many clients. And, uh, you know, I work with many clients on a day-to-day basis, and it feels good, and it validates my mission and purpose. Thanks for sharing that. And can you share one reason as to why every Asian woman needs to read this book? This book is co-authored by 18 amazing women who are sharing their stories, their struggles, their journey, their experiences, and how they overcome the diversity, never gave up, and now creating successful businesses, being their own boss, bossing up, and helping other people. Although in this book, readers will be able to understand the challenges Asian women go through, but I think this book is definitely going to inspire so many women, and not only Asian women. Thanks for sharing that. And Vibha, what can readers gain from reading your story? My story is about coming to U.S., studying and researching Eastern and Western spiritual wisdom in depth, adapting regular practice of meditation, applying and sharing the knowledge, and finally becoming a holistic spiritual and mindfulness coach. Readers will be able to understand the importance of connecting from within and spending some quiet time alone, the centering, the meditation, whatever you call it, to able to live more fulfilling and meaningful life. And realize that spirituality is pretty straightforward and practical, and it can be easily applied in our everyday life to be able to solve all kinds of problems. I wrote that in my first book, it's called Turn Within, Reconnect with Your Inner Peace and Wellbeing. And I want to educate more and more people that when we take time to be still and establish a relationship with infinite creative power within, the force inside, even if we have all the challenges outside, we still feel safe, protected, balanced, and peaceful. We get in touch with the light within, the peace, the eternal well-being, and truth. Thanks for sharing that. And Vibha, can you share one boss-up tip for our listeners today? One boss-up tip is, if you think you have something you can help others with, and you have a vision, you're ready to boss up. Don't doubt. Don't wait for the perfect time. Just start working towards your dreams and you can change lives with your product or service. Thanks for sharing that. And I love that you mentioned don't wait for the perfect time because there's no such thing as the perfect time. Sometimes you just got to go for it, even if you're scared, even if you're nervous, because once you get over that hump, it really does build your confidence and you're just ready to boss up in every other part of your life. So I really love that. Thank you so much, Vipa. And Vipa, can you share with the listeners where they can pre-order a copy of the book and share some of your social media links that they can connect with or your website? Yeah, sure. To order the physical copy, they can visit my website, www.cosmicways.com slash about. And my another website, www.vibhasharma.com slash books. And they can also download free two, three, five minute mini meditation and cleanse your chakra meditation as free gifts recorded in my voice and social media links. I'm on LinkedIn, Facebook and Insta and on LinkedIn, linkedin.com slash sharma and Facebook is facebook.com slash cosmic ways and facebook.com slash sharma author and on Insta is at cosmic ways holistic coaching. Thank you so much. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Vibha, you can also head on over to the TaoofSelfConfidence.com and search for Vibha's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Vibha today for taking the time to share her story and journey and and some tips with us. Thank you so much, Vibha. Thanks, Sheena, for having me. It was a pleasure. Not a problem. It's really great having you on the show. And to our listeners, this actually concludes our Asian Women Who Boss Up book tour. I hope you do get a copy. It definitely is a book that can help you be empowered, take that action step, and just have a sisterhood, right? Have a support system while you're in this journey. And tune in for the next episode, which will be our season finale. So take care and see you in the next episode. Bye for now. 
Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. You can order your copy of Asian Women Who Boss Up Book by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. 